Are you a leader, like you run your own EBU, are you a sales manager, a principal, or are you just leading people in an organization, in your office? And have you ever felt like you just have no level of influence on people? No matter what you say, they do the total opposite. Maybe they don't show up at meetings, they don't respect what you ask them to do. But here's the actual thing that really happens that I've been seeing and noticing. Why? 22 years ago, I started my first EBU. And I had a little team. It was just like me and one girl in my little EBU. That was all. But I really felt like I didn't have, I had this like dysfunctional relationship. Like I asked for things to do. They were sort of getting done. And, and I'm here I am saying I want to be this like great mentor. I want to inspire this person. But I just didn't have any level of influence or persuasion or impact. So here's the thing. I went to a seminar in the States. I don't know if you've heard of him. His name's John C. Maxwell. Probably like the sage in the space of leadership. And I remember there taking a whole bunch of notes. And one of the things that I began to understand is he spoke about this leadership pyramid. It's things that I explain to my clients when you want to try to create influence with the people and move people with you where the direction you want to head to. And in this leadership pyramid, he went through these five things, right? Like at the bottom, is where most people live, meaning the leaders. Uh, they just see you as a job title. Whatever's on your card, principal, director, you know, leading agent, whatever it may be on your business card, if they're still around, but if it's on your business, it's just a title. They just see you as your job title, which is the lowest level of leadership. The second bit is what we call transformation. And transforming is you creating a whole new identity to the person you are right now. So one of the wonderful things that you get to do is understand is who you are there and who you need to become is about transforming these leadership qualities and skills that you develop. The second, the third level, I should say, is you will start to see results, results in your people, results in maybe people engaging with you, maybe results in showing up to sales meetings rather than being disrespectful to you and the rest of your colleagues. So the third one is what we call results, but not just seeing results in them, but you start seeing results in themselves where they're actually feeling like they're moving forward in terms of listings and sales and appraisals and so forth. The fourth level of in this leadership pyramid he speaks about is attraction. You know when you see someone, a leader who's out there, you're just like attracted by them and you want to go and work for them. Like you're so inspired by these people that you think these qualities and these values that this person holds, I really want to be part of their organization. I really want to work under this person. That's called attraction. The highest level of leadership is mentoring, mentoring your people. And if I look back at my career and my life, there's probably about a handful of people, five people that really had a significant impact on my life. And I call these people the mentors in my life. That's where you really want to be because when you become a mentor, these people look up to you, they listen to you, and they respect you, and they take advice from you. You really want to work your way from being that job title all the way to being that mentor. So if you really want to start connecting with people, maybe understand where you are right now and think about how can you evolve and develop to go from job title to mentor.